Hey guys, today we're going to be using our Cornell notes to discuss the introduction to Jim Cullen's The American Dream. So right now you are working with just the introduction of this text and this document is going to help you to really hone in on the really important things, some big takeaways from the introduction. So right now I'm actually on the last page of this document, the last quote that's given to us, okay? Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to read it, we're going to look at the questions about it, and we're going to discuss it, okay? And you'll see that this is the format for the whole document. You have several quotations and questions over here in your left-hand margin, and then on your right-hand side, that's where you're going to write your notes, your responses. At the bottom of every page, you will be asked, what are Cullen's claims about the American dream? And of course, that um, summary that you're going to write there, that response that you write there, should be informed by the information that you have written um, on this page already, okay? So the quote that we're given states, this book explores a few varieties of the American dream, their origins, their dynamics, their ongoing relevance. It does so by describing a series of specific American dreams in a loosely chronological overlapping order, okay? So before we dive into it, let's see what we're being asked to um, discern about this quote, all right? So our question is, how does this quotation here confirm or deny your previous answer? So that's gonna be the answer to the question that came right before this one, which we'll visit in a second. And then, what specifically will the organization of this book look like? So right off the bat, we're asked to go back to the previous quote in our previous response um, and basically make a connection, like have things changed since you analyzed that previous passage, or does this quote only serve to confirm um, what you originally suspected? Then we're gonna look at what does it say in here about the organization of this text? Because we want to be able to infer what can we expect as we go along through this book. So the quote that came before this states that there is no one American dream. Instead, there are many American dreams. Their appeal simultaneously resting on their variety and their specificity. And then based on that quote, okay, you were supposed to infer how you thought the author would structure this text. So some key words on that quote were variety, okay? There was a lot of variety in these ideas of the American dream. So I'm sure many of you said, well, maybe we'll get different stories um, about the American dream, different perspectives, different people's experiences. Maybe it'll show us people's experiences from past history. Maybe we'll have some that are more contemporary. But if you wrote anything about there being variety to the American dream, I want you to think about that now when you encounter this quote, that this book explores a few varieties of the American dream, the origin of the dream, the dynamic of the dream, and the ongoing relevance, okay? So when I think about that quote and I think about the first part of this question, I know for me that for me, I have all of my suspicions were confirmed, okay? Because in that previous quote, when I hear that word variety, I automatically think varieties of the American dream. So for me, this quote only reinforced the idea that we're gonna be presented with different options, different varieties, different takes, different perspectives on the American dream in our society, okay? Um, I'm also being informed that we're gonna learn about the origin of those dreams, okay, for different people, and how the American dream still connects to modern life today, okay? So past and present. Now, um, how will that be presented to me? Well, if I look in the very last section here, it says that it's in a loosely chronological overlapping order. So put quite simply, I can expect that this is gonna go in that historical timeline, okay? A chronological order that the author's not gonna jump around, you know, and start with one year and then go back 30 years and then fast forward 75, but rather, He's going to take us on a journey in American history, okay, and what the American dream has meant to people throughout, okay? So that's going to be the first part here that I've written. Now, down here, what are Cullen's claims about the American dream? So 
I put that the American dream has been part of American society from the beginning and these dreams still affect us today, okay? So we know that it's been with us in our society from the beginning and up here he's going to talk about those origins and the origins of course are the beginning of things, right? But it still affects us today because he's talking about the relevance that the American dream still has for us alive and well in America today.